So a lot of you guys have been asking me, how am I running the Heartbreaker set? And I felt like you need a little bit of tankiness, a little bit of damage, and it just the right mix makes this gear set actually powerful. And today, we're gonna be showing you how I break it down. So I've really been trying to figure out what is the perfect balance between this build with damage and survivability. And I will tell you, this is the build that I've been running in countdown and I found it to be very 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 strong and why I like it is for the fact that it hits hard and you can run through enemies especially once you build that stack because that's where this build shines right once you can build that stack that's when you're gonna get the most bang for your buck and the fact is this build just shreds. And if you guys have been looking for different ways to run it, well, you're probably gonna find a lot of different ways to run it. Now, the way I'm running it gives me survivability. And when I have max stacks on both, it just, it's so nasty. And just look at that armor. Look at the amount of armor I have on me. It's just crazy that you can have that much armor on one build. So hopefully you guys are ready. I think it's time, let's dive into it. So for the build, I am running the technician class and this is because I want to use the link laser pointer and this is the run on the RPK. It does fit on the RPK and what that does allows us to pulse enemies and that's what we want with this build and you'll see in just a second. So the weapon I am using, I decided to run with the classic RPK 74. It has 108,000 total damage, 650 RPM with a 65 round mag. LMG damage, damage to targets out of cover, and then we have damage to armor. So everything you would like to see on uh, LMG, and I was lucky enough to get one to drop. Now I decided to put the new talent called Flatline, amplifies weapon damage by 15% to pulse enemies. Now after you do kill three enemies, applies pulse to the next enemy you hit. But with the link laser pointer, every enemy we aim at is always pulsed so we're always going to have 15 percent amplified damage to pulse enemies and that's why this is actually really good now i love to pair this up with the rock and roll this is the named acs 12 if you don't have the rock and roll you can run that one the reason why i like this one is because it allows me to have a bigger mag size now it has shotgun damage damage to armor and damage to target out of cover all god roll and it comes with perfectly extra which allows me to get 15 percent extra magazine capacity so i have a 30 round mag versus a 20 round mag which is actually really good especially when you're trying to build up those stacks and this allows me to build up my stacks very fast and then i'm able to swap right back to the classic rpk which you might have saw in the gameplay itself but yeah those are my go-to weapons for this for the sidearm don't worry about it so we're actually going to start this off with the exotic mask i was actually lucky enough to get this right out of an exotic cache I think it was the third exotic cache I opened. It dropped for me, so I didn't have to wait till the end of the season, well, to level 90 to get it, right? So it comes with armor, exactly what we're looking for, and it comes with incoming repairs, armor regen, and then it has a critical hit damage mod on there. So I put that on there, so that way we can get a little bit more critical hit damage on this build. Now it has a talent called Vicious Cycle, taking damage build stacks cap of 30. Each stack grants 1% weapon damage. So that means we could have up to 20% extra weapon damage, 30%, depending on how close we are to getting that max stack. But now taking damage at max stack triggers a purge, removing all stacks and status effects, and then dropping a healing cloud, which restores 5% of your max armor for 10 seconds. So depending how much max armor you have will depend how strong that cloud is. But why it's so strong is because a lot of times you end up fighting and you'll have like a 10 stack, a 15 stack, 20 stack, even a 25 stack. And then you're just putting out way more damage. And that's why it's actually really cool to have. Really nice. It's one of my favorite pieces to put. And it actually works really good with the new gear set. So yes, we are running the four piece heartbreaker. A lot of you guys were asking how I was running it. So remember the two piece gives you 15% assault rifle damage and 15% LMG damage. So I am using it for the LMG damage. We have the three piece gives us 15% weapon handling. This allows you to control those LMGs a lot better, those ARs, whatever you're running. So you're going to be able to hit those shots. And then Heart Stopper is the four piece. Headshots apply pulse for five seconds, but you don't really have to worry about this because you will be always pulsing enemies with the link laser pointer. And then weapon hits on pulse enemies add stack of 1% bonus armor and 1% damage to pulse enemies up to a max stack of 50 stacks. Now two stacks are lost each second. 
But the crazy thing about it is if you run the chess piece, you can actually increase those to 100%. So it goes from 50 to 100. So that means you can have 100% bonus armor and 100% damage to pulse enemies. So that's what's really good about it. Now, this one has armor rolled on here. I have critical hit damage, and then I have a critical hit chance mod. So wherever you could try to put critical hit chance, you're gonna wanna put those in a couple pieces because you're gonna wanna try to get, I wanna say at least 50% critical hit chance on your LMG. And that's where I felt like was a sweet spot so I could still put out some pretty good damage. So yeah, that's how I would run this. Now for the holster, we have armor and we have critical hit chance on here. This is gonna give us closer to that 50%, plus we have 170,000 armor. Now, if you look, I do have one expertise. I forgot to say this, 1% armor, because I am level one expertise, and I did start to level these up. So that's gonna give me 1% armor, and the same thing with the chest, if you notice we are. We do have that expertise level 1%. And then for the knee pads, we do have our third piece of Heartbreaker. This gives us weapon damage and then critical chance. I'm still trying to max this out and this is gonna get us closer to that 50%. If I have everything maxed out with critical hit chance, like all the pieces that aren't fully maxed out, I'll have exactly 50% on this building you'll see in a second. So we also have 1% armor for the expertise. For the gloves, I decided to go with the Petrov gloves. Why not? It's one of the meta pieces. It gives me 8% damage to armor. The only piece that does that, A, it's a Petrov piece, so I'm getting 10%. LMG damage, I have weapon damage and critical hit damage on here. So why not run this if I'm going to run an LMG build? Just makes sense, right? And the reason why I do like running the backpack on this is because this increases our total our total bonus armor gain per stack from the Heartstopper from 1% to 2%, meaning we can have up to 200% extra bonus armor. So that means I'm going to be really tanky and you can survive a lot of times. Sometimes you'll see you're fighting and you have nothing but bonus armor and that's because of this build and that's why it's so powerful and reason why I really like it. Now I am running the scanner pulse. I just felt like that worked good. Um, you don't really need to run it with this one because you'll always be pulsing. But I feel like just having a pulse in general since I'm not running a shield with this, I can see where all the enemies are and then I can run to that area to really know who I need to shoot. So that's the main reason why I run it. You can run anything you want. I do pair this up with a decoy. And the reason why is because the decoy is going to, sometimes you get in situations where you can throw it out, they will focus that and then you could just line those shots up. If we check out the stats, you'll notice I have 47.9% critical chance. Like I said, if I had max rolls, I would be exactly at 50% crit chance with this build. 81% critical hit damage, that would be up a little bit. And then we have 85% headshot damage with 14% armor damage. And then we also have that 10% damage to targets out of cover. So that's why this build hit so hard because of all those, once they pair up, once you start getting flat line running, it's just a lot of damage you're getting out of this build. And that's why you saw we were hitting so hard along with if I'm paired up with any teammates, I'm even gonna hit harder. And that's what I really like with the build. And that's why I felt like this was the sweet spot. I'm sitting at 1.4 million armor. We'll look at it. We're at 1.4 million armor. Once I have everything set up, I should be around 1.5 million armor, 332,000 health. And that is the build right there. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the build. The first build of TU15, front well, the first new gear set build of TU15 released right here from me. So hopefully you guys enjoy this. I will see you guys in the next one. But until then, ain't nothing but skills out. Take it easy, everybody.